So if you could tell somebody one, like they have a limited budget, what is the one most important piece of decor that you su suggest that they basically definitely have? Again, very tricky question. This is something that really depends on the venue that you're working with. So if the venue itself is very beautiful and you're working in a space that you're going to have a lot of natural light and daylight, then the number one thing I would recommend bringing in is linens and chair covers or, or nice chairs to really enhance the look of the space. If you're in a room that's really kind of got very boring walls, it's got no windows, you've got no natural light, then the focus should really be heavily on the lighting of the space, so uplighting the walls candlelight on the tables and those types of things which are going to really help to transform. So it really depends on the clients. And the other thing is, is flowers. So those are like my trifecta of elements, the lighting, the linens, and the flowers. Um, I think for me personally, flowers go so far to enhance the look of a space. Um, but some clients hate flowers. So, you know, we really have to uh, take into account what the client's vision is, what their look is is that they're trying to go for and what their personal preference is as far as their likes and dislikes. And we take all that into consideration when we recommend what elements are going to help them best transform the space. Perfect. So do you have a, a minimum order that anybody has to order? We really don't have any minimum orders set in stone, but we really prefer to work with clients who are going to have us involved in various elements of the event. Um, so it's rare that we would have a client come to us just for a linen rental, for example. The clients who come for us to us really want us to help them design the entire space. So lighting and linens and chair covers and a backdrop of some sort and flowers. We do bridal party arrangements as well as centerpieces and all of those types of things. So the clients who come to us generally want us to be involved in collaborating all of those elements. So we don't have a necessarily, you know, a, a basic minimum, but most clients have us do more than just a couple of things. So like the whole vision, basically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So I, so, so I guess that sort of ties into my next question. Do you offer specific packages or do you work with people's budgets? You know, we used to offer packages when we first started out, but what we were finding was that because of the different venues, the different types of events, um, the different needs and visions of each client, each time that we had presented a client with a package, we would have to deconstruct it and then start from scratch. So instead of offering packages, we start from scratch with every single client. We figure out where their venue is, what their needs are, what their priorities are, what kind of look they're trying to create, and we build custom packages from scratch for every single client. Perfect. That's a really good idea. I yeah. think everyone's wedding is kind of a little bit different too, Absolutely. so it's best to just do it that way instead of trying to put them into a package. Exactly. Trying to get people to fit into some sort of cookie cutter version of a wedding decor package. It just hasn't worked for us. Yeah, for sure. So when someone comes to see you and gives you kind of the whole idea of what they're looking for, the colors and stuff, will you mock it up for them so that they can visually see it before the day of? We have so many different ways of creating visual references for our clients. Um, with Pinterest, there's so much out there in terms of inspiration for seeing various elements pulled together. Um, of course, in studio, we have linens and various decor items and centerpieces and whatnot that we can actually visually put together. Um, a lot of times when we design something for our clients, we're doing something completely custom that you're not going to find in a Google search and you're not going to find on Pinterest. So we do also do very detailed sketch mock-ups for our clients so they can see how all the colors play together for the various elements, whether it be a backdrop or their table centerpieces and all of these types of things. So it's really important to us. I'm a very visual person personally. Um, so it's very important to me that we create a strong design story and visual story for our clients using whatever elements and technology is available to us. That's a great idea. So how far in advance should people book decor? For us, the ideal time frame is about six months. Anything more than that, you have a lot of time to change your mind and kind of bounce around with color schemes and centerpiece ideas and things like this. Um, anything far less than that doesn't give us enough time really to get into the design process and work through those little details that really make the event special. So six months tends to be ideal. Yeah, for sure. 
So what is the difference between an event designer and a wedding planner? There's a big difference between the two. Now, uh, a planner is really solely responsible for the logistics of the day, um, setting the, the schedule in motion for the day. Some planners do get involved in the creative side of it in terms of pulling together elements like the color palettes and, and helping choose certain elements that are going to make the event special. Um, but the that person is also going to have to source all of the elements. So they don't carry their own uh, linens or any of their own decor. They're going to help you select vendors to pull all of those elements in together. The designer, on the other hand, is really concerned with um, the overall look of the day, the vibe that you're trying to create in the space. So not so much with logistics and the schedules and whatnot. Um, they want to help you bring in the elements that are going to create the look and the feel and the vibe that you're trying to create. Um, so for us, we take our clients through a very detailed process, start to finish of the brainstorming phase where we're using all the various uh, colors and elements that we're going to bring in to create the look and the feel that the client's trying to create straight through to all the conception and the design work and all through to the execution and the installation of all of the elements that we're bringing in. And of course, we also carry all of our own stuff in-house. Right. So those are all the questions that we got from our audience and that you and I talked about, but is there anything that you wanted to add that might help anybody for their wedding planning? Yeah, absolutely. I think when looking to hire a decorator, it's important to uh, go through a few different people, go through a di few different companies and interview several different people for the position because your designer, your decorator is going to be somebody like a planner that you're going to work very closely with. And you want to make sure that it's somebody who... Uh, you jive with that gets you and somebody that uh, also understands your vision and you, that you feel comfortable with and that you feel that they can bring your vision to life. So take the time to go through. Not every decorator is suited for every client and vice versa. So make sure that you do your homework and find out what's out there. Absolutely. Do your homework. I can attest to that. <laughs> it's always important to make sure that you have good um, Good personality fits together. Absolutely. Well, thanks for being here with me today, Sophie. Thank and you again for having me. Yeah. And that's all, folks. <laughs>